There are many ways of knowing about the world. A discipline is an organized and institutionalized systematic way of knowing the world. For example, humans can study the physical world. The study of the physical world is called natural or hard science. The hard sciences are divided into a. the physical sciences of physics, chemistry, ecology, oceanography, geology, meteorology and astronomy and b. the life sciences which are biology, zoology, human biology and botany. By the way, hard does not mean difficult. It means that they study the natural world. Actually, if you think about it, this doesn't make sense because all science is about nature, human nature or other nature. Soft sciences include sociology, psychology and economics. You are a student in a faculty of humanities. This means that you will study soft sciences. But what does it mean to say that you study a science? The answer is about lenses, like the glasses you wear. The same social situation, or a book if you study literature, can be interpreted in different ways. Each social science looks at a situation from a different perspective. For example, if a family are poor and have trouble sending their child to university, an economist may study the financial aspects of the family's choice. Economics is a study of choice, not the study of money as many students seem to believe. A macro sociologist may study why certain families are poor and how they deal with getting money for their child's education. These scientists look at the structure of particular societies, the government, the wage system, the educational system and social mobility, that is how poor families can become richer. A microsociologist may study how one family in one type of situation and try to understand what issues that family dealt with before and during sending their child to university. The macrosociologist can discover larger patterns in the society. Understanding these patterns may help make better systems. The microsociologist can discover how individual families deal with their problems. This information can help other families make better decisions. Please understand that the situation studied by both the macro and the microsociologist is the same. The difference is the lens they wear. This lens makes a major difference in how they study the situation and how they understand the situation and what new knowledge they can make from that situation. An analogy is a family. Let's say that the child wants to go to a university far away from the family but the parents want the child to stay close by. Both the child and their parents have their reasons. The child wants to learn to experience a freer life to learn to live as an independent person, to learn to deal with problems by themselves. The parents think that the child is too young to do these things. Maybe they worry that the child will never come back to them. They worry that if they are not nearby, they can't help if problems do happen. The child reasons are very good for the child and the parents reasons are good for them. Yet the way of looking at the situation is very different. The lens and the child and the parent are using are different. Each discipline is a map of thinking about knowing the world. Before we look at these maps, let's think about the main job of an undergraduate. This level of student learns about the map itself. Imagine it is a map of a country. The student learns the main ideas in the discipline, the main theorists, 
the main information and knowledge in the discipline. Let's be clear about this. The undergraduate's job is not to show their opinions about the world. They need to learn how experts have come together over many years to create expert systems of knowing the world. The master's student studies a town in that country. They select one or two main ideas and theories and study that deeply. The doctoral student tries to improve the ideas and theories themselves while studying a street. If you know about these levels, you can see more easily how your classes relate to your degree. Here are some main academic disciplines in the soft or social sciences. Sociology is a study of society, its structure and institutions and how people live with each other. Psychology is a study of how people's minds work, how we perceive, remember, think, love and so on. Linguistics is a study of natural language, what grammar is, how language changes, how people in different areas speak differently and so on. Philosophy is a study of why we exist, understand, reason, have values, believe in good and bad, and so on. Education is a study of how we learn. This is a child discipline that takes most of its methods from parent disciplines. Economics is a study of choice, how we produce goods, distribute them, and use them as well as many others. Law is a study of how societies are governed, legal documents, there are governments rolling, creating and maintaining laws. Political science is a study of power in society, what power is and how it is used in different countries and in different media. These days, more and more disciplines are being connected. For example, linguistic studies language, and political science studies how language is used in power situations. Both disciplines use ideas and theories from each other often. You will have seen that education is a child discipline. It is called a child because it uses theories mainly from other disciplines, although there are now many education-only theories. As you progress through your undergraduate study, look for theories. They are the lenses scientists use to create new knowledge. If you see an interesting theory, learn more about it. Try to use it in your daily life. You don't need to believe it. Just use it as a way of seeing the world and accept the information you get from using it. You can try using two or more theories on the same subject. You may feel that one theory is better than another. It's not really about your feeling though. It's about how that theory makes new knowledge when used on the subject. My advice to you is to learn about theories and play with them.